Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. It's been a while since my last Affinity Photo tutorial. So if you guys want to check a product photography with a seamless backdrop like this for your model or your product but you don't have a background or lighting, well, don't worry about it because today I'm going to show you how to create a flawless and seamless backdrop for your product or model in Affinity Photo. All the photos that I'll be using in this video are from Asplace if you want to download it and follow along with me from the start, just click on the link in the description to download it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's open up Affinity Photo and get started. So, I'm going to use this photo. I will remove the background of this photo and change it. First, you can duplicate this photo for backup and then use selection tool to select the object. Okay, after that, mask the layer, in case you make a mistake, you can always bring back the detail. And then make sure it's smooth, the edges is smooth, so I'm going to fix it. Okay, I think it's good enough. Next, we're going to make the background. So create a new layer below the object layer. And then grab gradient tool. Then change the type from none to linear. And change the color as well. You can use any color that you like or you can pick it from a background. Just use color picker. But I'm going to use the color from this website. Okay, I will put the link in the description if you want to use it as well. Okay, I will use sexy blue color. So just enter the color code. After that, because the light of this photo comes from the right side, so I will put the brighter color on the right side like this. It's because the light comes from the right side, so I put the brighter color on the right side. Okay, then next we need to make the ground because it has no ground right now. So again, create a new layer and use gradient tool this time set the color black and white okay and put white color on the ground or something like this then change the blend mode from normal to screen and reduce the opacity to around 20 or 25 and because the light comes from the right side so this side should be darker so I'm going to mask this layer and apply gradient to make this side darker okay and then set the color like before black and white And make it like this so this is before and after now it looks more realistic as you can see 
and next we are going to make a shadow for this object there are two ways that you can try first you can create a new layer and use brush tool to make your own shadow or you can use shadow from this photo I'm gonna show you how so duplicate the object layer I'm gonna turn this off first okay and then delete the whole object okay if you want to delete it make sure the foreground color is black then make sure you are using round like brass and make sure the foreground color is white okay then I'm going to make the object visible again and just pan over the edges to create the shadow like this after that I'm going to apply curves adjustment and make it brighter set the highlight brighter like this and it's basically done as you can see one last step and it's optional you can add noise to the background I'm going to apply live filter you can add add noise diffuse or dust and scratches I'm going to add add noise and set the intensity to run 12% as you can see when I'm zooming you can see some noise now it looks more realistic so this is the final result as you can see it looks so realistic so you don't need to buy a backdrop and lighting to make it you can just take a random photo of your product and create your own backdrop in affinity photo okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.